Hello everyone, this is Pawn Saini and once again we are here to educate you through videos on YouTube. I hope you must have watched the first part of the an element school classroom in Islam or you might have understood everything. If there is any problem, I have told you, you may contact me personally. Today we are going to discuss about the later part of the poem that is also very important to understand the main theme of the poem so let's study the second part or the remaining part of the poem in the last video we have studied up to the stars of the words now see the third stanza of the poem Surely Shakespeare is wicked. Now see the word Shakespeare, a well-known literary figure from England who has written so many dramas, poetry, one-act play and many more and well-known to each and everyone who is studying English. And now the poet has said surely Shakespeare is wicked, he is evil. He has evil traits, evil qualities. How? Before studying it, I focus on the two words surely Shakespeare. Both the words are starting with S, S, repetition of S, and repetition of any letter in two or three words means a figure of speech that is alliteration. You may also see the spelling A W L I T E R A T I O N Alliteration. <coughs> How Shakespeare is wicked? Let us discuss. Shakespeare shows advancement, literature, civilization, but these children are living in slums with no proper education, no facility, they are not interested even in studies. So he has nothing to do with the slum life or slum children. That's why he has been described as wicked, evil. Now see the second phrase, the map a bad example. The map that is shown in the second stanza, map of the world, generous map of the world or the boundary of the world. It's a bad example for them because their life is confined. <coughs> their life is confined in the slums only. They have never seen the outside world. They are confined, they are limited, they are reduced to the slum area only. And the cities, the country, the peninsula, rivers, the streets have nothing to do with the life of these children so map is a bad example for them it is not associated related or concerned with the life of slum dwellers residents of the slums with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal the pictures of shapes or the sun and their love their attraction their temptation their attraction these people are quite attracted toward the bright lighting or bright curling coloring of these articles these photographs these photo portraits shown on the wall and their love their desire not help them to study but to steal them away they wanted to steal them tear it from the wall and they want to take it to their own home, their own houses, so that they can enjoy seeing the pictures. Not learning from the picture, but seeing the pictures or looking at four leaves that slyly turn in their cramped halls. For their leaves, their lives, slyly, secretly. 
or in hidden hidden way turn slyly means hidden or secretly chori chup ke se turn in their cramp holes cramp holes are the holes of mouse chuhe ke ghar hote hain cramp holes aur unki jo jhopdiyan hain jo slums hain wo bhi kuch ise shaped ki hain jaise chuhe ke liye jo bill hai wo bahut chota hota hai और झोपड़िया भी कुछ इसी शेप की हैं, बहुत स्मॉल है फैमिली के लिए रहने के लिए तो दे हैव बीन कंपेयर विद द क्रैम्प्ड हॉल्स एंड दे लीव देयर लाइफ इन द क्रैम्प हॉल्स स्मॉल हटमेंट्स फ्रॉम फॉग टू एंडलेस नाइट सी दर्ड फ्रॉम फॉग रेपिटेशन ऑफ लेटर इट मीन्स एलिट्रेशन टू एंडलेस नाइट they start their journey in darkness and that also ends in night it means always in darkness on this slag heap slag means garbage heap means pile of something it's a garbage heap or pile of garbage the children wear skin peep through by bones and spectacles of steel With mended glass, like bottle beds on stone. See the word. The children wear skin peep through by bones. They are so weak that their bone structure is peeping through their skin. There is nothing to hold the bones or bone structure to peep through their skins. The skin is so thin. and the bone structure is so vivid so clear that it comes into sight easily and they also put on spectacles made of steel frame now see the word with mended glass mended glass they are using glass that is mended second hand glass used by someone else earlier when you see they also put on spectacles of steel with mended glass it means their eyesight also suffer they are suffering for poor eyesight it is not a fashion but it's due to the malnutrition it is just because of malnutrition not having the proper nutrition they are ha- having their deficiency of vitamin a that's why they are suffering from poor eyesight and the glass that they are using it's just like bottle beds bottle beds frequency of f means same alliteration it's just like bottle beds beds parts of bottle kaanch ke tukde ki tarah on stones toote hue jaise kaanch ke tukde hote hain kisi patthar lagne se these are looking in the same way all of their time and space are fog islam they spend their whole life from birth till death so this spend their whole life that is fog islam islam full of haze or mist dhundla hai ill ventilated hai dingy cells and dark cells hai without proper facility and they are beyond hygiene so blot their maps with slums as big as doom now the poet is requesting here to blot their maps blot the arena or the area of slum as big as doom itni mass level pe isko hum erase kar de hata de jaise ki doom doom hota hai final day of judgment when somebody dies in our ancient mythology it is said they are awarded heaven और हेल तो एज डूम द लास्ट डे डिसअपियर अवर एंटाइटी और एग्जिस्टेंस वेन वी डाई तो इन द सेम वे वी शुड ब्लॉट देयर मैप्स दीज हटमैंड दीज स्लम्स शुड बी इरेज फ्रॉम द मैप देर विल बी नो साइन ऑफ दीज स्लम्स नाउ सी द लास्ट कंक्लूडिंग स्टेंज ऑफ द पोएम unless governor inspector visitor 
This map becomes their window and these windows that shut upon their leaves like catacombs. Now he is requesting again to the governing body, inspector, those who are observator, having a special responsibility to uplift their lives and the visitors, tourists. He requests to all to change their window and should be taken out from this window of slums to the real world of or real environment pure greenery until now their life is shut upon in the slums to shut upon their leaves like catacombs so it is shut like catacombs catacombs is an ancient arrangement of 17th century where the royals are cremated or buried inside a tunnel and after that the, the entrance of tunnel is shut so that nothing can be taken out or get inside to so like that to so now they are confined in the slums and the poet desires wants to take them out from their shut hutments or shut slums. There is a revolutionary tone of poet here. Break or oh break open till they break the town. There is a revolutionary tone. He is one, one side he is requesting but on the other side he is showing the danger or the anti-reaction when somebody is जो हम क्या किसी को क्या करते हैं ओवर प्रेस करते हैं दबाने को उसके स्प्रेस करते हैं उन्हें तो रिएक्शन क्या होता है जैसे कि बॉल होती है उसको हम जितनी तेजी से नीचे फेंकते हैं फ्लोर पे उतने ही स्पीड से वो रिबाउंड करते हैं तो अगर हम उन्हें बहुत ज्यादा स्प्रेस करेंगे उनका दमन करेंगे उन्हें दबा के रखेंगे तो दे आर श्योर टू बाउंड एंड वेन दे विल कम इन टू एक्ट दे विल ब्रेक इन द down forcefully if we don't let them or we don't set them or establish them in the town willingly they will come forcefully and show the children he is requesting to show the children to green fields the green environment pure environment out of the slums where they can make their life where they can shape their life according to their own will and let them run azure let them run azure on gold sand with their neck foot or feet they should be allowed to run on the gold sand the beaches the sand of the beach seaside and let their tongue and let their tongue run naked into books let them study through the books the pages of the books the white and green leaves open and open the white and green leaves white and white leaves means the pages of the books where they can study from books and green leaves means the green environment or pure environment of the earth open and the poem ends with a special tone history theirs whose language is the sun there is a metaphor in the line history theirs whose language is the the language has been compared with the sun without like or as so there is metaphor in it these words can be asked which figure of speech has been used in the last line of the stanza so you will simply say metaphor because language has been compared with the sun and why language is compared with the sun as sun gives light to the whole world in the same way language the power of language or knowledge enlighten the whole world through education this is the common quality of these two that's why these has been compared and we know very well we only memorize or remember the personality from history those who have done something great selflessly 
or without any personal end for the welfare of society so these people those who are educated and have good will and aim to uplift the poor poor class or lower class that's why the poet has compared language with the sun this is the paraphrase of the second poem i hope you have enjoyed the second part or the second video of the poem an elementary school classroom in a slum or might have understood it properly of or if there is any problem you may ask telephonically or through my whatsapp thank you